this the game of a thousand surprises. Um, how will this run die? To shoot twice, everything has two hit points here. It's oh, okay. Surprisingly often, entrances are only one block wide. You get iframes from that boost, even if they don't show. jump the higher the faster you uh, run while jumping and the pipe makes you very fast shield is for safety here Yeah, rolling is not instant high speed, rolling is merely acceleration beyond the normal running speed. It takes a while to reach top speed. The launcher is too worthwhile to use it here.
scroll the screen down, that makes uh, the swords spawn differently in relation to Jess, because they spawn in relation to the screen. Not sure if it's helpful though, it saves something at least where the task has to spend two frames waiting. For example, this year, well, the task would ditch the airport earlier anyway, because it's placed on the other version. can take these three to make up for it. Look down to spawn the boss. Conceivable to boost even through the first of those four barriers. After the involvement, everything is fine anyway. You won't get it anymore in the rest of the stage. Oh, expensive hit. Maybe the boost is good. You should consider it um, normally even. can't cancel a bonus stage immediately, you'd have to sit in the bonus stage for maybe five seconds before you're allowed to cancel it with escape. Of course, I don't want to cancel it at all, but it merely makes the mashing escape better during the level clear screen. Less risky. Not a big loss. <laughs> did I kill the mine or did I just not touch it somehow? No. <laughs> Lots of surprises. This is a small detour, but I still take it for more RF missiles. Hmm. 
I will play on, but this has to be super careful. And you have to kill almost everything here. No launches either, because I died in the first map. Refill between stages is so much uh, important in this one. Oftentimes, in any percent, there's carrots in the early maps anyway, but in episode 2, health is rare. There's carrots here, it's fine. I don't have to shoot that, just damage boost through, it's the best. Depending on alignment, the walls kick you up faster or slower, because the next wall will trigger sooner because of alignment, horizontal alignment. That was good. is helpful here and it's easy to take this bird during orbiters too. keep shields here but it's hard to do it uh, with the blue flowers all around there's an extra shield later in the map that i can take the next map has no shields so here it is it also aligns the enemies here better so it's easier to avoid them Ooh. Uh, i lost all shields again <laughs> okay then real damage boost and have to play through the next map without any shields as doable. But health is a problem. I can die for safety here. Uh, no, I should die for safety. To refill the health. <laughs> yeah, die for safety. 
<laughs> it's not even it's not even a speed tactic, it's a safety tactic. Is, uh, a beautiful state. So nice. Ah, the blaster will not shoot that. That's fine, that's fine. You have to enter the crevice then to shoot it. What a lovely song. It rarely plays this for this long. Now ah, that's how it should look like. Yeah, it's, it's tricky. Yeah, it is tricky. It's the main reason I didn't want to play on hard last year for any percent in Scrapper at 1. There's two here, I forgot. <laughs> yeah, that's right. The fast feed section is too lovely on hard to pass up. Or on turbo. The spacing of these hands. <laughs> Wonderful. Can't jump in over them in a clear pattern. That was almost good. And kick, kick. Getting stuck in the wall in weird ways. answer is always to mash more it's it's very good wisdom There's a spark here, I should kill them. I should fire more missiles. I didn't know. Don't switch the launchers here, just fire missiles, it's much better. wondered whether you could ram the walls so hard that you fell outside of the playable area and I don't think it's possible you can 
leave the playable area and crash the game on one bonus map. I think in episode 6 one of them allows you to get out of bounds. Launchers are nice. I like the launcher. The RF missiles are better. The launcher is sometimes is more fun. He has three hits. Extremely greedy too. Kill him without stopping. Okay, <laughs> Dominator, yeah. thanks for popping in. See you later, thanks. Hmm. And good luck. Good fast feed section. Let's use all the shield here. If we take hits, that's fine. We still don't know how that happens. We have some theory. Run off the ledge and then look right and don't press left again. That saves the death animation. Jazz is just dead and immediately respawns. That's good.
bonus gem is up here. Try to kill it with the missiles, but it takes two hits. It's, it's not easy. The launcher is better at killing it in any percent, but in, in uh, turbo it needs two hits. And therefore, the launcher is questionable. Firing two launchers. It's okay, I can move. Um, continue here first. Small hop only to get the bird. That's fine. Ideally, I kill him with the missiles, but I'm stingy. Still fine. We can uh, play without the involvement here. Dragoons have six health, three on medium and hard and easy, and each segment gets another hit point. Well, on easy they don't spawn. possible that this resets the health because he unloads and then reloads. Need each gem of this map. Uh, you should jump over him. I think it's standard. I'm not even sure what I do. It's strange how you play something and do it right every time, but somehow <laughs> then forget what to do. Luck, come out. There it is.
RF missiles are the best to open the passage. Blue health is excellent, I can damage boost without fear. Even here, you could die. The best route is get two and then turn, I think. Need the missiles to shoot through the floor. It works with toasters, but only with precise alignment from underneath the wall. These three items uh, lower the water level. for the boost here. No, I didn't get it. On this version though, come on. Uh, the water raises faster. It's not such a big loss if it fails. <laughs> nice. The swag clip. Plenty of missiles. I should take fewer when I detour. Uh, if you stick the face deep enough into the iron here, then uh, you can skim across the top and don't hit any mines. It's good. Good launcher here. Um, I'm, I'm fearing that I hit these in the wrong order. The launchers have the highest chance to hit stuff above you, that's why it might be meaningful to launch them.
Good. <laughs> Quality boss. This is a large time save because if you soft lock the boss, uh, you have to reload the map and then kill him with blasters. And you could soft lock the boss by not killing him quickly enough. Uh, now I took too long at the beginning of this stage and that misaligned many things. We'll see how stuff aligns here. I might get hit here. I made it by. That's good. Turbo doesn't add enemies over medium or easy even here on the whole on this map. But um, of course the three hits and the extra hit points on the enemies make it uh, tricky. And the little health that we have here is a massive problem. Bezrock 2 is more lenient with carrots, but Bezrock 1 is hard. I need this in Volum usually, and uh, I, I always take it in Turbo here. Nice. You can be with a back inside the spikes, and it's no problem. But only from from that side. Ah. Now this can be a problem already, because uh, for this section I have to get the bonus gem and it's hidden in this section. If I get hit off the third or fourth uh, spike ball it's fine, yeah like this. tapped. Good. Still made it through those, that was good. <sighs> nice revolt. I want to swivel early in the air, but if um, I swiveled too late and didn't enter the small corridor because I was swiveling only then. Serve the RF missiles. It's fine to kill these with a blaster. <laughs> Swiveling trick to the rescue. If you hold jump and are not at full speed and move sideways then you don't take damage on the spikes. Not even sure, you have to move sideways. The port part is to not be on full speed.
bird is merely an extra hit point. Can't we kill the boss in the second level through the wall? Because we have to get the bonus gem from inside the ship. Why? Oh, that was super greedy. Two missiles, I shouldn't jump again. Good stage. of missiles, that's good. And I used them reasonably well throughout the episode. How many TNT? We get three, that should be fine. We can TNT exit the first map of Industrious, but not the second, because we need the bonus gem from the second. recently rerouted this uh, second map here, jump, 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 and then jump from here, but um, I didn't play it optimally. Full health is nice. happens. I om almost looked like I wouldn't make it uh, early on because I jump. You have to land up here and that's still good. Now uh, one long detour. These are, I think, are optional, you don't need them. Not good. 
two enemies here. <clears throat> nice. If you jump off the corner of the solid edge, then that works. First map with TNT exit. This leads into the secret map, but with TNT the exit sign before the secret map triggers. Second map we could TNT exit, but then we wouldn't get the bonus jump, so let's keep everything here and play it normally. Ah. Nice. It's tempting to jump there to give the RF missiles more range before they clip into the ground, but it's not easy. Uh, the overshot. Um, don't jump. You could TNT for ammo here, but I should be fine, I think. <sighs> Four hits on these. The bridge could delete itself. Yeah, there it does. We've loaded so many bridges. Ah, there's carrots here. Yeah, that's good. TNT for the shield. Um, you're supposed to get the shield from the other side. Two shields for the boss, that's excellent. This is the 15 second bonus map. You need the hourglass. Now we have a minute again. There are two more hourglasses, but you don't need those. I don't need those gems either.
I didn't look down or somehow the monkey was too far behind. That's fine. We need full speed. I tried to change my route here, but for safety I will stick to my old route that takes the invulnerability and the early shield and the later shield. Welcome back, Motorayas. This is looking good, all of this here. Happy to have practiced episodes uh, B and C before the run. Missed one TNT, or it should be fine. Could still take the exit signs by mistake, and that could kill the run still. <laughs> At least one, but that shall be fine. This invulnerability is for shield preservation. for the heart section with the hands. Shield makes the hitbox smaller, makes this section easier to play. Shield in the spikes. That's good. Uh, for safety, I'll take the invuln. Mainly for the section here. It also conserves RF missiles, then some sure how valuable it is. Hi Luke, um, yeah. Thanks for the good luck. Run is super good, yeah. <laughs> well, in the beginning, some weak spots, but it recovered really well. <laughs> the run could be over in one shot with uh, an exit sign that I take.
at the end of the spiral here there is an exit sign And Dexstar. Dexstar, really tricky. Um, I should probably not clip in the second map through the ceiling near the end. That was good. Yeah, let's play the reliable route, but enjoy the fast feet, nonetheless. Oh, good stage, good stage. Nice, uh, this is not easy, and it probably depends on how early I spawned that enemy. Run through everything because Jess is so fast. Here, um, let's keep at least one shield. Ah, okay, good. Almost got shot. The only exit sign in the entire map. We are on fire. <laughs> TNT wants to clear the bats and then. If we get hit with the uh, bats, it's fine. Uh, for reliability, yeah. I have to kill the bats first, and then kill the boss quickly after. So no bats from the respawning batch of three bats has time to fly under the boss, and I get warped under the boss after the boss dies. The bats would kill me then if it was there. Okay, we can do it. Two minutes ahead. Blaster is the best because you can fire many slow bullets on the screen over that pole, but I still didn't hit the turtle past the pole. I use RF missiles on him because it's important. He's easy to throw me off the ledge otherwise.
new shield. I should have taken some gems from the other side. I'll take these to make up for those. Because you could run into a dead end here and if you don't have enough gems you'd have to backtrack severely. I got hit already. <laughs> I could take the bird. These spikes will uh, give me invulnerability for a while at the coast of the shield. No, these later parts of the run aren't as well covered and uh, these good splits uh, then go, it's nice. Mm -hmm. Here with RF missiles I like to kill these two during the flight but I'm out of RF missiles. That's okay. Nice. Now we do have TNT, that's handy. Don't have to backtrack, but RF missiles, even though we have some, it's you can't ever have enough. The music is playing too slow. Occasionally it does that. Hi JP. From the Jazz 2 community, yeah. Uh, what did I do? I hit P, not 5. I wanted to hit 5. This should be fine. <laughs> you played Jazz 1 as a kid too, yeah. That's good. Yeah, Jazz 2 made. Uh, Eventually got far more popular with the level editor and the community. <laughs> exit signs are plentiful here. One, two, exit. <laughs> yeah, the pause somehow then fixes the music because it starts again. Okay, well, those were the last exit signs for this map. Have I seen Binary's new world record in Just a Rabbit 2? Spass in 1809, I think it was. Yeah, I've seen it and uh, I uh, verified it on speedrun.com. And, oh, jump here. And it's, it's extremely strong. I think the queen is the biggest red split. And otherwise he has one split out of, I don't know, 24, that is three or more seconds behind the gold. Everything else is within a second of the gold. <laughs> so it looked super, super close and no, excellent run. No. It's, it's super clean. And finally seems so happy when he Finally got it. Uh, probably didn't expect it. Uh, 
Can he get it below 18? He would need a run like this and an excellent queen or an even better run. Now. That's probably possible, but will it happen in 2019 still? <laughs> It's because it's so hard. <laughs> well, we'll see. Happy that binary still pushes the game after all this time. I have four shields as swivel here to keep to make sure I hit the water trigger, so the water falls and it's easier and faster here. Yeah, that was bad. Now the problem is I need I need one of the shields for the boss. let a lot of stuff by pass here but I made it through the boss is blocked in that toaster will activate uh, the RF missile okay this hourglass is necessary and now there's exit sign galore still good. It's possible to fly with a bounce back into exit signs. This is the worst that can happen. Ah, good. They took it very, very slowly. Now here I select the toaster to fire RF missiles and with a shield I can just sit inside the mines. Eventually they would uh, they would uh, deplete the shield, but yeah, they did not. And we have the Jazz Turbo in 109. <laughs> 47. <no. laughs> ah. Yeah, that was my goal for now. And yeah, very consistent later on. Some struggling early. Technoir. And. Scrapper up one. I died twice in Scrapper up one. Yeah. And from then on, it looks good. Yeah, nice one. Thanks. <laughs> nice job. Yeah. Thanks a lot. Mm -hmm. Ah. 